Not my show anymore. What's a gun hawk like him wanting a farm town like Kingdale? He's always been a little too close mouth to suit me anyway. Five years behind bars could do that to anyone. I wonder how fast he really is. I'm not sure. But I'll tell you this, you're not in his class, Link. Neither are you, kid. So both of you just take it easy. I'll handle them. Well, you're really quitting, huh? That's right, Jack. I'm quitting. I'm the boss of this outfit, Marty. You go right on bossing it. Like I said, I'm pulling out. Bank talk scare you? You know better than that, Jack. If you made up your mind about that bank job, you go right ahead. Stay out of Kingdale, that's all. Look, Marnie, that hot temper of yours might get you in trouble riding alone. Maybe you might talk too much. Yeah, I might go to the law. I'm not wanted anymore. I put in my time. I think you better stick with us, Marnie. Like I said, Jack, stay out of Kingdale till I'm through my business, that's all. Suppose I tell you you can't come. That'd make it your play, Jack. Tell those two to stay by the fire. I'd like to see my friends when I ride out. Keep the fire going, boys. Remember, Marnie, you know a lot of my plans, so just keep them to yourself. And don't forget, Jack, stay out of Kingdale till I finish my business. You gonna let him scare us off? What do you think? Somebody? I'd say so. Kingdale's farm town. You're a rider. We're way off the beaten path. Only strangers we ever see around here are commercial men. You ain't one. I'm just riding through, Marshal. Well, just thought maybe you might be looking for somebody, huh? My name's Pete Winthrop. I know everybody around here. Thought maybe I might be able to help you if you was looking for somebody. You know a place I can bed my horse down for the night? Kelly's place, north end of town. He's the cheapest. He lets you sleep in his hay mound. I didn't know my being broke showed. Kelly might buy that saddle of yours, too, if you're mind to sell it. Thanks. Yes, sir. As I was saying, the hotel ain't much at best. If a man's got his bedroll, he'd be a sight better off stretching himself out in the hay back there. That'll be fine. The hotel gets a dollar. Fifty cents will do me. For sleeping on a bale of hay? That's my price. All right. I'd sure like to buy this saddle off of you. I bet you had plenty when you bought it. You talk too much, mister. Kind of a mean one, ain't he? Could be, Kelly. Could be? <laughs> that kill he's got in his eyes would freeze a rattler. It's just the look of a man who's looking. Mm. 
Monty? Monty, where are you? Over here. It's so dark I can't see you clearly. You look good, Mary. You haven't changed either. How'd you know I was here? Pete Winthrop. He knows all about me. He said there was a gunman in town. Thought I'd like to know. I know it was you when I heard about the saddle. What do you want, Monty? Why are you stirring up trouble? I've lived my past down. Originally, it was to square things away. Now I know it because I had to see you, Mary. It's no good. It can't lead to anything. It could have, Mary. No. We were crazy. Our marriage wouldn't have lasted anyway. You loved me. I'm glad you knew that, Monty. We can love each other again. No, Monty, no. We had our chance and we spoiled it. We didn't spoil it. Cal Ferris did. That's not true. Cal had nothing to do with it. No? Monty, Cal's your friend. Then it must have slipped his mind. He turns me in, collects a fat reward, and then runs off with you. It's not true. You ran off with him after they picked me up. What else could I have done? How long did it last, Mary? What difference does it make? He ran out on you, didn't he? I wouldn't have done that. No. No, you wouldn't have done that, Monty. You gave me everything. And took everything. Yes, you would have stayed with me. Till one day you would have gotten a bullet in you. Or were put in jail for the rest of your life. And then I'd just have to go it alone. We never once brought out the good in each other. And there was good in both of us at first. Then Cal ran out on you left you. No, Monty, he didn't. He married me. Cal's here? Yes. What'd he do, send you down to buy me off? He doesn't know you're here yet. He would have been here himself if he knew. Tell Cal I'm here. Leave us alone, Monty. Tell him I'm here, Mary. Haven't you destroyed enough? Do you want me to beg? Is that what you want? Listen to me, Monty. It hasn't been easy for Cal and me either. The divorce, moving out here, starting from scratch. But we've built a life for each other here. It's a good life. Please, please don't ruin it. You heard what I said, Mary. Tell Cal I'm here. Why didn't you write me? What for? What could you have done? She's my own daughter. Her name is Ferris. That's my name, that's my husband's name. As far as Mona's concerned, that's all she knows. Mona. That's a pretty name. Will you leave us alone, Monty? I want to see her. It's no good. It'll only make it harder for all of us. Cal's been a good father to her. You owe him something. You're the only one that counts, aren't you, Monty? You're not even big enough to consider your own daughter. 
What about the five stinking years in that hole? What about the five years that Cal spent working day and night in the bank to support his family? Do you think that was easy? The bank? You said the bank, Mary. So our Cal's a banking man, huh? Monty. so you might as well cut me down now. That's pretty big talk, Cal, when you're playing it safe with no gun. Take it. What's the matter, Monty? You afraid your gunman's reputation will fall on its ear if you do it this way? Do you really think that gun is going to settle anything? It'll settle this if you're man enough. Take it. Go on, take it. I mean, the great Cal Ferris is yellow. Maybe I should make a play for your cash. And maybe you'll make a move for the gun. The safe is right over there. Of course, the key is kept in the marshal's office, so it won't bother me none if you want to make a play. A few bucks I got on me aren't worth fighting over. Pretty smart, Cal. You got it all figured out. Figured I won't kill you if you don't make a move. Well, maybe I don't need manners to get even for the five years I spent in Hellgate. Let's get one thing straight, Monty. I didn't turn you in. Talk cheap. It is. But you can check. The reward money was never claimed. You just did one job too many. You should have quit like Mary Astor. You've always had to heat yourself for killing, haven't you, Monty? But I'm still not touching the gun. Not with the responsibilities that family I have. Now you're hiding behind a woman's skirts. Some people might call it self-respect. Even though my job only calls for cleaning the bank. You mean you're just a sweeper? That's right. A man has to grow up sometimes in order to raise a family in the right way. Maybe what you say makes sense, Cal. But what about my daughter, Mona? We were married before she was born. She never heard about you, Monty. And she'll never be hurt because of it. So what am I supposed to do? Just ride off and forget the whole thing ever happened? A man's entitled to something after five tough years. Tough years, Monty? Take a look around. You think I like being a sweeper and a bucket man? That's how I've spent my five years. Trying to make a home for Mary and Mona. We're gonna sit around. I'm getting tired of waiting. Hey, what about it? We gonna hit that bank or not, Jack? I'm still working on it. Chicken scratches. I like to think things out all the way before I make any move. Maybe you should have thought a little more before you let Monty ride out tonight. He might take a notion to give us a little trouble. Maybe that's just the notion I want him to take. It seems to me you had your chance a couple of hours ago. That's right, kid. Except I like to pick my own time and my own place. 
Come on, we're moving on. A man can't get any sleep around here. You know I work all day. Said you want to buy the saddle. Sure, sure, but at this time of night, why? Don't ask questions. Give me a fair price and I know one I can use. Now, hold on a minute. I... Put up or shut up. How much will you give me? Simmer down, son. Kelly will buy your saddle, won't you, Kelly? Well, I... Pay $200 and I know one I can use. I paid over 500 for it. Cheap price, Kelly. You stay out of this. None of your business. Just said it was a cheap price. No sense in getting riled up. I'll give you 150 Take it or leave it. All right, it's a deal. Give me an old one I can use. I'll be moving on. Sure, and I'll get your money. Look, Marshal, I want this money to go to Mary Ferris. I borrowed it from her dad a long time ago. That's why I came back here, to pay her back. That's why she came to see me. Looks like she can use it. Like I said, son, it's a cheap price. Yeah, you figure it in greenbacks. Still inside, but he'll be finished soon. He's putting away his stuff now. We'll grab him as he comes out the door. And keep it quiet, no shooting. That's right up my alley. Any sign of Monty? No. Stick with the horses. If you're any trouble, cover's from the other side. you left town. Your two-bit bank's about to be held up. You haven't got much time. How many are there? I saw three horses. They could be packing double. I don't know. Maybe they're friends of yours. We haven't got much time. We? I figure it's too big a job for one man to handle alone. Or is it because you want to make sure Cal Ferris doesn't get hurt? You think you know an awful lot, don't you, Marshal? What makes you think you're such a mystery, Clovis? Ever hear of a gunslinger with a private life? What's going on here? Hold the horse, Kelly. Let's get moving. Race like a man. Turn around. Get him back inside, Cal. Hold it, son. Drop your gun. Face the wall. I know you're there, Jack. Jack, I'm through my business. Take your best shot. How are you feeling, son? Rotten. Could have been worse. Doc says you had a pretty close call. At least you're alive. That's something to be thankful for. Yeah. You made a pretty good haul, Marshal. Jack Renton. Link. Pinot Kid. And Monty Clovis. Running around with known criminals. Violated your parole, son. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's harder for a man out of jail than it is in, don't you reckon? I guess so. Now take you. Jail's too good for you. So I'm gonna say that you're working for me as my appointed deputy. You don't have to give me anything. I'm not giving you anything. Just remember, you gotta make it for yourself. What difference does it make now? Might make a big difference. 
You ain't never gonna find out till you stop feeling sorry for yourself. Well, I gotta get moving, son. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. You can go in now. Hello, Monty. Mary, Cal. Who's he? He's your daddy's best friend, darling. Are you my daddy's best friend? No, honey, you got it wrong. Your daddy's my best friend. I like you. Do you have a little girl, too? As a matter of fact, I do. Just about your age. But I'm big for my age. Aren't I, Mother? Yes, you are, darling. See? You'd never know I was only five. Yeah, that's right. I never guessed it. Are you very sick? Pretty sick. Are you going to get well? I'm not sure. What about your little girl? You better get well for her. You know something? I never thought about that. And then you can come and see us. Well, I don't live in this part of the country. But I may be riding back here again someday. Oh, I just have a big surprise for you. Providing you're a good girl. I promise. Good. Goodbye, Monty. Bye, Mary. Cal. Yeah.